All right, guys, it is JP Positive, and if you don't remember from a few days ago, I did have a live stream up where I was doing a pack opening, and I asked you guys to put in the comments what your favorite pool was, and then I was going to have a video announcing the winners for some Pokemon TCGO booster codes. That is going to be at the end of this video, so do stay tuned if you're interested in that. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go in with some Sylveon Houndoom. I don't feel like I've played with Sylveon Houndoom for quite some time. I will have another deck up tonight. It's going to be my part two of my Vivian deck, which didn't work out so well in part one. So we'll see what happens in part two. Luckily, we did win the coin flip. So we are going to be going first in this match. Once again, I have not played Sylveon GX Houndoom. We're going to see if it's still good. It is pretty much a mill deck. The point is to basically discard our opponent's um, energy cards or just discard their cards in general so that I can get some type of advantage and possibly deck them out. Uh, yeah, I want to start with my Talent Flame. For anybody that's new Talent Flame, if you have not seen Talent Flame used lately, basically it is a stage two. If you get them first with Gale Wings, the ability you can put them out as your active, even though he's a stage two. Hits for 40 damage and you can search for any two cards in your deck. I think it's actually a pretty crazy, amazing card. So. Let's see what we're going to do. We are going first, which does kind of hurt. I think I'm going to have to go ahead with a Bridget. Get some bench down. We'll go ahead. We'll grab an Eevee. We'll grab a Houndoom. Actually, we can't because Houndoom is an EX. So the only thing that I'm really able to grab is a Houndoom or one Eevee. And I think I want to go ahead and grab the Houndoom, guys. Because I can actually start discarding cards from my opponent, which is going to be pretty cool next turn. Now, the bad thing here is if they're able to knock out my talent flame, I do have resistance against fighting, so I should be okay. I'm going to go ahead and attach. That'll bring him down to 120, so I'm not sure if I really want to attach my first turn. So we'll attach to the Houndoom. And then we'll go ahead and end our turn, guys. See what our opponent has on their side of the field. They are using Zygar GX, which is pretty scary, especially with that Bonnie combo. Energy Lotto, let's see what they're going to be able to take out. They knew they do need to get quite a few energy onto the Zygarde in order to be able to do anything to me. Now, they could go ahead and hit me for 50 damage and grab two fighting energy out of their discard and attach it to their Zygarde. And then they're going to be up. So, Bridget is going to be their choice, which was also our choice, but we were only able to grab out our Houndoom. We will be using Team Rocket's handiwork next turn, and we might be putting the Houndoom up right away. Hmm. <clears throat> I do need a way to be able to discard cards from my opponent soon. So, there's a possibility of using Talonflame. Although, if I do decide to use Talonflame... He could just end me and knock me out next turn. And then in that case, I pretty much lose everything. So, do I want to change my hand? I think we need to top Ulele and, and grab something to change our hand. We don't need Team Rocket's handiwork right now. That can be a game changer at the last moment. We actually could go ahead and delinquent our opponent. Which I think would be a pretty cool move. So I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Probably should have grabbed something else, guys. But we really want to try and limit our opponent. If I can get rid of three cards from their hand and remove Scorched Earth, that's pretty good. And then I could use a Max Potion on my Talon Flame. And I can still retreat him and hit with my Hound Doom. So that's, that's pretty cool. That's what we're going to do. Delinquent. Max Potion onto my Talon Flame Retreat, hit him with the Hound Doom, and we will be able to discard the top two cards of their deck. Alright, guys, so it looks like they threw away a Guzma, an N, which I was worried about actually, and a Field Blower. So we'll go ahead and Max Potion. We'll go ahead and Retreat. And I actually could hit with my second attack which is 50 damage but that's not what we're going here for guys we are definitely going for our first attack so we'll go ahead and attach this to our talent flame I'm actually gonna use puzzle of the time just so I can choose what I'm gonna get in my next hand 
What do I want? I kind of do want a crushing hammer, but I kind of don't want anything else. So I guess I'll go ahead and use the energy discard, uh, max potion, and then a special energy. Hopefully our opponent does something because I don't really like the top three cards in my deck right now. But we'll go ahead and Melting Horn, guys, discard the top card, two cards of my opponent's deck. And we'll actually have them get rid of another Guzma, which is pretty nice. Alright, so it looks like they are going to be knocking us out this turn. 130 damage, 50 damage, 60 damage with the 10. That's on the Houndoom. I think they need one more damage counter. Actually, no, they have it right here with the Deontay. That Princess Cheers is going to give the extra 20 damage to knock out the Houndoom, which is actually very nice by my opponent. And we're not going to be getting any support next turn. Oh, N. That's exactly what I needed. So I'm glad they used N. And also, that makes it so that they have less Ns to use because I know they already had one in their discard. So, pretty good. They didn't need the choice ban to knock me out. They had the DNC on the bench. I really think it was actually wasteful using the choice ban, but we'll see what happens. We're definitely going to be getting rid of the DCE and using our talent flame to get our Eevee up. Our opponent can still win. They only need four prize cards left, and we do have a liability on our bench, a Tapu Lele GX just sitting there. So that is something that we do have to be careful. We're going to go ahead, Team Flare Grunt. Get rid of that DCE right there. And we're actually going to go ahead. Hmm. Should I attach to my Lele just in case? I think I should. So I'm going to go ahead. One fairy energy to the Lele. Arrow Blitz. I'm going to have to grab out an Eevee. And an Enhanced Hammer. And then I'll be able to evolve my EB, use the Enhanced Hammer, and then I should be able to do something else also. I think they're going to be using a DCE this turn. I doubt that they have another N in their hand. And as long as I'm able to get rid of their special energies, they're going to have a very difficult time. So Lycan Rock is coming up, Bloodthirsty Eyes. They are going to be switching me out for my bench Tapu Lele. And probably attaching the DCE and getting a knockout, only having two prize cards left, which would be very, very sweet. Okay, so now I don't think they have enough energy to knock out uh, Lele. Let's see, guys. Vault Stone onto the Oranguru. Draw one for Instruct and Cynthia. I still don't see enough damage going on to my Lele currently. We do have the extra 20 damage right here, guys. So 50, 60, 70. About 100 damage to the Lele. We can go ahead and retreat to the bench. 120 damage to the Lele. We do have a Skylo, so I think what we're going to do is Max Elixir, guys. I mean, not Max Elixir, Max Potion, sorry. Okay, so they're able to grab two cards and attach them to two uh, Fighting Energy and attach them to their active Zygarde. No problem with me, that's totally fine. We're going to go ahead and heal up our top Lele GX, bring our Talon Flame back out, put some more damage on this Zygarde, and we'll see what happens, guys. So, retreat. Bring out Skyla, Max Potion, okay, heal up our Lele, bring down the Eevee, we are actually going to be using our Enhanced Hammer on that benched Lycan Rock. We'll go ahead and evolve to our Sylveon GX. We will go ahead and enhance hammer the Lycan Rock. And then we'll just go ahead and hit 40. Which will bring our opponent down to 120 hit points. Which is actually very good. Let's see, what do I want to grab? Hmm. Let's think about this, guys. Team Rocket's handiwork. We need to start getting some uh, cards discarded out of my opponent's deck. So I think that's a pretty fair hand right there. We are going to be bringing the Sylveon GX next turn. I should have really 
thought about bringing up something else like the Houndoom, but I wasn't able to put the Houndoom down this turn because I did use it with Arrow Blitz. I did get it out with Arrow Blitz. So, Ultra Ball by my opponent, and we are seeing another Lycanroc GX, and we're going to be seeing our top Ulele GX back up and getting knocked out. That is for sure two prize cards left by my opponent. But then I will have, oh, they're actually going to bring out the Sylveon, which is also going to be a knockout because of the damage with the Deontay, and that's fine with me. Okay, we'll take that, guys. We will take that. We save our talent flame. Still two prizes to go. What are we going to do? That is the question. <clears throat> Let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 120 damage. With the Lele, are they going to be able to knock out the Lele? I don't think so. I think we're going to be able to come in clutch right here and knock out the Zygarde. Just in case, I am going to go ahead and use a Professor Kukui because I don't want to mess things up. And we're going to go ahead. Energy Drive, it will block because they did use their GX attack, which I totally made a huge misplay. So they probably will be knocking out our Lele if they're able to use Bonnie. Oh, they do have Bonnie, guys. That is going to be the end of the match. So, with Zygarde's awesome Verdict GX able to block any EX or GX Pokemon attack, we were unable to survive Zygarde GX. Unfortunately, Sylveon GX is still a very, very good deck. We were able to stand up to it. We're not able to deck out our opponent. I didn't use as many supporter cards as I probably should have to be discarding cards out of my opponent's deck so that we can have a little bit better advantage but this is a mill deck guys I haven't played with it for a while I will be playing with random decks every now and then just to kind of change it up a little bit because I don't like to keep playing with the same stuff but I will have that Vivian return part two and then right after this we will be going to the winners of my pack opening so stay tuned we'll be right back i really appreciate everybody watching you guys are awesome you're amazing like everybody knows it's jp positive and i'm out all right guys so very fast it just so happens that not too many people ended up commenting on my pack opening so we're just gonna go ahead and give everyone a free pokemon tcgo code all you have to do is reach out to me if you did comment to so adam mcdonald we have paleo gary sorry if i'm saying the name incorrectly guys really i'm sorry jennifer r geek out industries and we have Edit. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm seeing that correctly either. All of you guys, just hit me up because I will give you a free Pokemon TCGO code, maybe even two Forbidden Light codes. Just make sure that you contact me on Facebook, YouTube, or on my email, in my email, and then I will get back to you with your prize. With all that said, guys, really appreciate everybody watching. You guys are awesome. You're amazing. Like everybody knows, it's JP Positive, and I'm out.